What is a giveaway that a new job will be awful? What do you mean? You need someone to introduce you to your new position? You're supposed to know what you're doing. That's why we hired you. Double quote. When people who have worked there for decades are still in entry level positions. If there is a shitty box of donuts or some other crap in the break room once a week and it's the only thing that seems to spur anything like joy in the employees there. You are assigned different and more responsibilities than what was negotiated at the time of hire. If you show up to a job interview and they more or less hire you on the spot. It's a sign that they're desperate. From my experience anyway. When the employers are hard selling the position or use the phrase make up to dollar sign. I'll let you in on a secret. You will not make anywhere near that much money. Every time you request a personal day off or vacation time. Your boss says it's inconvenient for you to be away then. And to ask again at a later date. You feel dismissed. Undervalued and not appreciated for the good work you do. When you meet your boss or co-workers that you will be seeing on a daily basis and just understand that there is a personality clash. Having way too many bosses or people directly above you. Without a clear hierarchy. And if they can't even give you an idea of the average day's workflow schedule tasks. You're replacing someone who didn't have the job for very long. And the same story was true for them. When the HR lady took me to a quiet room to fill in some forms at my first day and then looked around to check no one was looking at us and told me get out while you can. All the employees seem new to the job. The one co-worker who I sent a manager supervisor who is always checking what you're up to and bossing you around. When people that work there can tell that you're excited and start mentioning that'll change soon. When the job description doesn't match the actual job that you'll be doing. If they ask you to start early and burn a bridge with your current employer. Anything along the lines of wear many hats. This generally means things are poorly organized and undefined. Lack of safety regulations. If you get there on the first day notice that they cut corners with things regarding safety it says a lot about the company and how it views its employees found that out at my current job within the first day. Hey. Why is there no safety shower? Where is the chemical waste container? What do you mean pour it down the sink? That is illegal. Double quote. When you come in for the interview and they offer a completely different position than the one you applied for. If the interview seems like a pitch. The job will suck. If you hear the phrase work hard play hard anytime during the hiring process or in the job listing. The job will suck. If you interview with more than two managers at once. The job will suck. If you hear the phrase work hard play hard anytime during the hiring process or in the job listing. We're like a family. The last job I had. I was told this. I'm not surprised because meetings devolved to shouting matches that were initiated by management. When they tell you that per state law, they don't have to give you any breaks in 8 hours besides 30 minutes for lunch. Edit. Any breaks besides lunch. They're looking for an entry level candidate. This normally means they're looking to pay below average. And it will take 2 plus years to get to industry standard for that position. But the catch is. You'll be worked just as hard as someone who gets median or above average pay. Sits down on first day with new manager. The first thing you should know about me is that I don't micromanage. We're all adults here. Hint. He's gonna be a micromanager. High turnover. I was hired to consult for a large fitness company most Americans are familiar with. They wanted me to observe their sales call center. I told them I'd like to start the gig on a week in which they were starting a new training class so I could observe that as well. The director looked at me with a puzzled expression on her face and explained that they always had training classes going. It was a call center of about 50 people and the training classes that lasted 2 weeks were 30 people deep. That means that even if half the class fails training, they are replacing 15 out of 50 people every 2 weeks. Years later I still think about that place and how depressing it was. Thankfully I was only there for 6 weeks.
comma I hate burn and churn sales environments. And nowadays I choose not to consult for companies who don't believe in investing in the happiness of their sales force. When the people who already work there don't like it. I was hired to a newly created position at a luxury car dealership group. The GM of the dealership I was at, corporate offices were upstairs there, wanted nothing to do with me and thought the VP was an idiot for making this position and hiring me. Basically it was going to be scheduling appointments with new customers to install their license plates and tutor them on their infotainment systems. The first three days I was there I was given no place to work. No desk. No computer. No phone. Etc. I was given no schedule. No dress code. No tasks. No training materials. I was told to go figure out how the systems in the cars worked and that was it. So I did that as best I could except they wouldn't give me keys to any vehicles. The GM just ignored me constantly so I went to the VP to express some concerns and he called in the GM to sort it out. As soon as we left that room it went back to the way it was. I did what I could with what I was given but if I had no computer or phone how could I schedule appointments and meet customers? Without a schedule how would I know when to come in? I quit that first week. For $12 an hour I was over his BS. When your boss asks you how you would react if an authority figure were to get drunk at work and scream obscenities at you. Hypothetically. Of course. When you get asked to take over the outgoing IT manager's job. And a couple weeks later get the title IT assistant instead. If there's a permanent now hiring. Inquire within sign. A few places in my area have these. There's a reason for that. You start getting department wide emails from one person complaining about another person not doing their job. If you see this happen twice. Start looking for a new job ASAP. If the interview was just too good. If they seem too eager to hire. It means they don't value my skills and only value the fact that a replacement is here for the job they're trying to fill. They specify that they want you to be flexible with your work schedule. In my experience it only ever flexes one way. Which is me spending more and more of my own time on work. Let me tell you a little story about my first day on the job as a sanitation engineer. This guy who has been working at the same building for over 20 years says. Hey buddy Seamir I gotta tell ya something. Then he leans in and whispers in my ear. I fking hate retards. Then leans back and kinda looks around smiling. Funny thing was this was my first day on the job at a mental hospital. I might take some heat for this. But Christian companies. I've found them to be the most willing to fck over their employees. And expect them to take it without complaint because Jesus. They can also be surprisingly discriminatory. Almost blatantly so. It can almost be worse if you're a Christian but not of a denomination friendly to upper management's liking. They also tend to be some of the most micromanaging places. Owners will be all up in the day to day business in very uncomfortable ways. They also pay for shit. First day at the new job for a healthcare company. Went to the department and the guy who had hired me had transferred. His replacements flat out told me they didn't want or need me but showed me where my desk was and that was that. Worst year ever as the company was going to get merged and had hired consultants to look for redundancies. People were quitting like crazy and I went through. Like. Five managers. Then the merger failed and the executives gave themselves nice bonuses for leading the company through a difficult change. People were still quitting though. Greatest feeling was when I added my resignation to the stack. Oh. And during that year I taught myself Ms. Access Programming, this was way back in the day, and created my own internal clients to keep me busy. People arguing in the main reception about getting screwed over by the boss by getting their overtime cancelled at Christmas. Source. Went for an interview where the production manager and employees were yelling at one another in front of me while I was waiting to go in. No one attempted to move away or quieting down. Nope the FCK out of that one. When it's an inclement weather day and most other businesses are shut down. But management still tries to get everyone to drive into work. Except for management themselves. 
because it's dangerous. Close bracket. This is a small one, but it's never steered me wrong. If your immediate supervisor refuses to get your name right in the interview or on the first day, they probably won't respect you as a person in bigger ways as well. Getting it wrong accidentally is one thing. Especially if they accept a correction graciously. I'm talking about deliberately renaming you. I have an unusual and long, but easy to pronounce. First name. Every good job I've worked. Hiring manager has said what do you prefer to be called? And passed the word along to supervisors. Every shitty job. Someone asks can I just call you something else? Your name is too much work. Double quote. If getting your name right is too much work, your vacation requests, raises, and promotions will be too. I left one failing company to find out the first day of my new job that the new company was failing as well. I was brought on as an assistant controller and told to familiarize myself with the books because the following day the bank was coming in to check everything out and determine how much longer we'd be around. When the company is big enough that your responsibilities should be filled by 3-4 people but they are only hiring one person to do it. Covering morning, afternoon, and night shift. When your responsibilities per the job description keep changing and more keep getting added. When you walk into the place in 2014 and you think you've time traveled back to the 1940s. We're a high paced agile environment where we push the limitations. Double quote. Also known as. You're in a death spiral and if you don't burn out you'll want to blow your brains out. 401k contribution? We hope to in the next couple of years hours. 7. 30-5. 30 minute lunch pay? If you. You could make xxx. Immediately get pulled into office drama in the first week. Dala. Management. Let's give you the skinny here. People don't like Jash. Jash is terrible. Double quote. Jash, management. Let me give you the skinny here. I'm Jash. And you should stay away from Dollar. Double quote. Cull, producer. Isn't Jash the worst? The only person worse than Jash is Dollar. We should be friends. Double quote. Tammy, associate coffee drinker. Cull sucks ass. Did you hear what he and Dala got up to last Christmas party? Well. Jash says to Dala. He says. Serious answer. If the metrics you are evaluated by are based on things you don't have the authority to control. You are set up to fail. This is super common and very overlooked based on my informal findings. When you sit down at your desk on your very first day and find a post-it note under the keyboard that says. Dear God. No. Run. Double quote. That was the highlight of the whole morning. The whole office was miserable. You could taste it in the coffee. I went to lunch. Did not return. Your hours are flexible. That's why you can stay late to finish your work. Double quote. AKA your salary now. Which means we can overwork you and not worry about paying you for it. Double quote. There is chicken wire on the sides of the staircases and the windows can be only open up less than 4 inches to keep the employees from jumping through the windows or jumping off the staircases. Some of you in this training class probably heard bad things about the company from friends who've worked here before. They're just sour apples who didn't like the job. Don't believe them. Double quote. The extremely high turnover rate in the first three weeks paired with that should have been the dead tells. When they tell you that there are zero sick days. When everyone at the office is an immigrant on a visa. You know that they're gonna abuse you. When the HR director seems scared of getting in trouble. When you get that feeling in your gut that something is off. That gut feeling has never failed me. A few years ago. I applied for a transfer and spoke to the manager. My gut was screaming at me that he was an asshole. But he said all the right things and seemed genuine and smart. Three months after I started there. My gut was proven true. He would walk around checking off names to see who was in their cubes at weird hours. He yelled at us when half of us were gone at 7. 30pm on a Friday. 
salad. Comma during a crunch. He berated me and made me cry on more than one occasion. I was lucky to transfer out before the entire department imploded. Always trust your gut. Always. If you can't get a direct answer regarding salary and hours. You're going to get f over somehow on them. Also. I feel like the more people you speak to during the interview process. The less likely it is that the job has its shti together. Well. I'm still in the interviewing phase of looking for a new job. One of the job interviewers I went to meet with acted like such a sleazeball. He asked me if I would pass a drug test. Told him yeah. I would. Continued on for about 2 minutes explaining to me the different types of ways different companies test for drugs. I didn't know they could swab your mouth to find this out. Dot. But he brought how Publix did random drug tests. And that would I be fine with them. He told me that testing my hair was a more slowly but more expensive type of way drug testing. Also told him I wouldn't care and would pass them. I learned there was more than one way to do a drug test that day. The GM of the donut shop hires you and goes over the dress code. No rings. Points to his rings. No watches. Points to his watch. No necklaces. Guess who is wearing a necklace. No bracelets. And points to his bracelet. The assistant manager hated the GM. I wonder why. Comma and by proxy she also hated everyone he hired so that was a fun time. This thread has taught me that my Walmart job truly is awful. I can relate to a lot of these comments. When your buddy working the exact same job somewhere else is making almost double you. When you tell them what days you are not available in writing. They hire you to work a specific schedule based on that. And then they immediately forget about that and schedule you for when you told them you weren't available. Bonus points if the manager calls you at your other job to ask why you didn't show up for the shift. Also. If they change your schedule from week to week and they only give a day's notice of your new schedule. Real life experience. Found a job under the table removing and replacing gutters. Guy tells me he has been doing it for over 2 years now as a side gig. Meet him and his crew at an address. No problem. 3 guys and his crew. The one with the most seniority besides the owner. Only worked for him for 2 weeks before that day. Tells me he's seen 6 people quit or told to get lost. Work 10 straight hours for 40 bucks. When he paid the other to 100. Which was the amount we agreed on before I met him and his crew. Needless to say. I reported his ass to the IRS. Was at a job interview where my future manager had to pop into the meeting room a few doors down the hallway to wrap up some performance review. He walked off calmly before closing the door and steps into the other room. Furiously raging about how some member of the team didn't meet his targets for about 5 minutes. Basically threatening his employment and flushing about how he could fire the employee without wincing. Afterwards he walked calmly back into the meeting room where I'm sat waiting and picks up the conversation again as if nothing had happened. The walls were wafer thin and I could hear every single word. Needless to say. I declined their job offer that day. We'll hire you as a team leader. Oh you don't have any experience? That's fine. You can learn from the multiple experience team leaders we have. Double quote. When you walk in for an interview or on your first day and everyone there just looks miserable and like they hate their lives. Jesus reading all this makes me relate to my old job. Currently unemployed cause I couldn't take it anymore. Was hired with the quote I don't need to see your CV. Can you start tomorrow at 8am? Began work and was told you won't last. We've been through 47 people in the past year or so. I lasted 18 months which was impressive. No upward mobility or job security. Boz would literally make people cry and run out of the building. He is a prick. Just so many many things. Holy crap. 